Atrium, taking healthcare to new levels with innovation in medical device technology. Our unmatched quality, constant innovation, and commitment to education and support have made us the number one manufacturer of chest drain products worldwide. Atrium's ocean water sealed chest drainage products are designed to let you devote more time to your patients and less time monitoring equipment. Atrium's collection chamber graduations are the best in the industry with big, bold, easy to read numbers and large writing surfaces. Each collection column is clearly defined, so changes in patient fluid volumes are easily detected and recorded. Tracking your patient's progress, such as following an air leak or simply observing changes in intrathoracic pressure, is now easier than ever before. Atrium's advanced water seal, with its graduated air leak monitor, blue tint water, and calibrated pressure level column, significantly improves monitoring important patient conditions, such as changes in intrathoracic pressure and trends in patient air leaks. Atrium produces a complete family of ocean water seal chest drains with the same familiar operating design. Each model is uniquely tailored to suit a distinct patient need or clinical requirement following emergency chest trauma, thoracic, and open heart surgery. For the protection of you and your patients, Atrium's entire family of ocean chest drains are 100% latex free. Each Atrium Ocean Water Seal Chest Drain comes packaged in high quality CSR wrap to ensure maximum product sterility. Detailed multi-language operating instructions are conveniently provided with each unit and are also made available on Atrium's website. Let's review these instructions and actually see how fast and efficient Atrium's ocean chest drains are to set up and use. First, remove the CSR wrapped unit from the outer bag. Carefully open the CSR wrap using sterile technique and enter the unit into the sterile field. Each unit comes equipped with a large, easy to grip handle that makes handoff and patient transport easier and safer than ever before. The sturdy swing out floor stand should be opened for setup convenience and for placement onto the floor. To begin, fill the water seal with sterile water or sterile saline via the pre-attached pre-measured funnel by holding the funnel downward and filling it to the top as shown. By raising the funnel, water will quickly empty into the drain and fill the water seal to the required two centimeter level, indicated by the dotted fill two line. Remove the funnel and discard after use. Next, connect the chest drain to the patient by inserting the patient tube connector directly into the thoracic catheter. The patient is now on gravity drainage or to water seal. To apply suction when prescribed by a physician, the suction control chamber can be filled to the desired pressure level simply by removing the tethered vent plug, pouring water to the desired suction control pressure level, and replacing the vent plug. As with any chest drainage system, the drain must be placed below the level of the patient's chest and kept in an upright position to maximize drainage efficiency. We recommend hanging the unit bedside using the multi-position hangers provided. The integrated flexi hangers accommodate today's newer bed designs and allow single hand placement and transport. When you're ready to initiate suction, connect the suction source to the chest drain suction connector or suction control stopcock and slowly increase suction at the suction source until constant gentle bubbling occurs in the suction control chamber. Available on most Atrium Ocean models is a patented suction control stopcock, which provides simple and effective control of vacuum to the drain for more efficient system operation with less bubbling noise and less evaporation. Simple to use and operate, Atrium suction control stopcock can be adjusted as necessary to increase or decrease suction control bubbling. When applying wall suction without a wall regulator, simply turn the stopcock to the off position prior to connecting to the suction source. Once connected, use the suction control stopcock to slowly increase suction until you obtain a constant level of gentle bubbling in the suction control chamber. All patient tubes and suction connections should be routinely checked to ensure proper leak-proof operation and chest tube patency. Like all Atria models, the Ocean 2002 Single Drain Collection Chamber 
incorporates a large writing surface with big, bold numbers and easy-to-read fluid-level graduations. The first collection chamber column is calibrated in small 1 ml increments up to 100 milliliters in brightly colored bold numbers, then in 2 ml increments up to 200 milliliters. Subsequent collection chamber columns are calibrated in 10 ml increments up to the maximum drain capacity of 2100 milliliters. Depending upon your hospital's preferred sampling technique, Samples of drainage fluid can be taken directly from the patient tube by forming a temporary dependent loop and inserting a 20 gauge or smaller needle with syringe at a shallow angle. On selected models, samples can be taken directly from the needleless lure lock sampling port located on the patient tube connector. A water seal is a simple one-way valve which allows air to exit the chest and prevents air from returning to the patient under normal conditions. It's also a very useful diagnostic tool, as it can show even the smallest trends of an air leak, as well as changes in intrathoracic pressure. Assessing patient air leaks is easy with Atrium's blue tint water and air leak monitor. Continuous bubbling observed in the water seal will confirm a persistent air leak in either the patient's thoracic cavity or possible tube connections. Intermittent bubbling with gentle float ball oscillation will confirm the presence of an intermittent air leak and no bubbling with minimal float ball oscillation at the bottom of the water seal indicates that no air leak is present. Bubbling from right to left in the air leak monitor must be present to confirm an active air leak. The Ocean Graduated Air Leak Monitor allows visual detection of air leaks from a low volume of one to a larger air leak volume of five. Air bubbles passing through the Graduated Air Leak Monitor help the clinician assess air leak patterns and patient air leak trends. Changes in intrathoracic pressure can be determined by observing the level of the blue tint water and float ball in the calibrated water seal column. Atrium's blue tint water and float ball make changes in patient pressure easy to monitor even in low light conditions. When the system is connected to suction, patient intrathoracic pressure will equal the suction control setting plus the float ball water column level. For gravity drainage applications, patient pressure will equal the float ball water column level only. Each Atrium Ocean chest drain incorporates an advanced high negativity float valve, which is located at the top of the water seal chamber. During normal or deep inspiration, Atrium's float valve will allow thoracic patients to draw as much intrathoracic pressure as they may require during each respiratory cycle. However, during prolonged periods of accumulating vacuum pressure, Atrium's float valve will automatically lower high vacuum pressure down to a safer, more desirable level. Atrium's unique controlled release valve design safely and automatically protects your patients against prolonged exposure to excessive negative pressures, which can accumulate as a result of repeated patient tube milking or stripping. To manually lower the height of the water seal column when connected to suction, temporarily depress the manual vent located on top of the drain until the blue water column lowers to the desired level. It is not recommended to depress the manual vent when suction is not connected or not operating. When monitoring a patient's chest drainage system, it's important to periodically check the water seal's operation and fluid level. If the water seal is either underfilled or overfilled, it should be adjusted accordingly to the prescribed maximum two centimeter level. Using a 20 gauge needle with syringe, adjust the water level via the grommet located on the back of the water seal chamber. The Ocean features an advanced water seal design for maximum knockover protection, even when connected to suction. In the event of an accidental knockover, its knockover nozzles help minimize interchamber spillover for the ultimate in system reliability, user convenience, and patient safety. Most healthcare facilities routinely use suction for their patients as it helps improve the rate and flow of fluid drainage from the patient and out through the thoracic catheters. Suction also helps increase the rate and volume of airflow out of the patient to help maximize full lung expansion and stabilize breathing dynamics. The volume and height of water in the suction control chamber is what safely controls the amount of suction pressure provided to the patient. The Ocean traditional wet suction control format is a simple but extremely reliable method for regulating vacuum to a patient. 
When monitoring a chest drainage system, it's important to maintain constant gentle suction control bubbling and to periodically check and adjust the water levels in both the suction control chamber and water seal during system operation as required. If you need to increase or decrease the amount of suction to the patient, simply turn off the suction source and adjust the height of the suction control water level accordingly by either adding water or removing water using a 20 gauge needle with syringe and adjusting via the grommet located on the back of the suction control chamber. Suction pressures greater than minus 20 centimeters of water can be accomplished with a calibrated wall regulator or portable pump by simply taping over the suction control vent plug with non-porous tape and reading the vacuum pressure imposed directly from the regulator or pump. There will be no visible bubbling in the suction control chamber when the vent plug is taped over for external suction regulation. In the event of an accidental knockover, place the drain in an upright position immediately and check for interchamber spillover and correct fluid levels. Both suction control and water seal fluid levels may be adjusted as necessary. For patient transport and gravity drainage applications, simply disconnect the suction source vacuum line from the stepped suction line connector or suction control stopcock. For models equipped with a suction control stopcock, it's recommended to leave the stopcock in the on or open position at all times, even when the suction line is not connected or in use. As a safeguard against tension pneumothorax, a fully automatic positive pressure release valve opens instantly to release excessive accumulating positive pressure when such clinical conditions may arise. Its unique tamper-resistant design is located in an obstruction-free area on top of the drain. Selected Atrium Ocean models come equipped with a locking inline connector and patient tube clamp that provides convenient simple disconnection after use or rapid inline ATS blood bag attachment when required the patient tube slide clamp must remain open at all times during system operation. It's recommended to position the patient tube clamp next to the inline connector for setup convenience and routine visual check. The patient tube clamp can be removed if desired. Handling and disposing of a discarded chest drain and its contents should be in accordance with all applicable regulations and approved hospital infection control standards. As you've just seen, a chest drainage system provides a means for removing air, blood, or fluid from the pleural space or mediastinal cavity. To better understand how a chest drain works and contributes to a patient's recovery, let's review the chest's anatomy and physiology and the mechanics of breathing. The chest wall is composed of the ribs, sternum, and thoracic vertebrae. All are interlaced and covered with intercostal muscle to form a semi-rigid structure. The lower boundary or floor of the thoracic cavity is known as the diaphragm, which is also composed of muscle. The interior of the thoracic cavity can be divided into three distinct areas, the mediastinum and two separate chambers for each lung. The inside of the rib cage is lined by a membrane called the parietal pleura, while the lungs are covered by another membrane called the pulmonary or visceral pleura. Under normal conditions, these two pleural surfaces are closely held to one another, being separated only by a very thin film of lubricating fluid called pleural fluid. The pleural fluid keeps the two pleural surfaces in contact while allowing them to slide smoothly over one another during breathing. The presence of negative pressure, or vacuum, between these two membranes is what helps hold the visceral pleura in close contact with the parietal pleura at all times. During respiration, air moves in and out of the lungs in response to changes in intrapleural pressure caused by movement of the diaphragm and chest wall. Under normal conditions, there is always negative pressure in the pleural cavity. The degree of negativity, however, changes during respiration. When air, fluid, or blood enters the space between these two membranes, the space created is known as a pleural space. This is an abnormal occurrence and results in labored breathing. When the chest wall is opened, either by surgery or chest injury, the inrush of air causes the vacuum in the patient's pleural cavity to escape. Since the normal negative pressure or vacuum is no longer present, the lungs may partially or fully collapse as they depend upon this negativity or vacuum to stay fully expanded. Without full lung expansion, the patient experiences pain and great difficulty in breathing. If air accumulates in the pleural space and has no means to escape, pressure within this space can rise significantly. 
This is known as a tension pneumothorax and can result in a potentially life-threatening situation known as a mediastinal shift. That's where the chest tube and chest drainage system come in. To restore the chest to its normal condition, all air and fluid must be removed. The purpose of any chest drainage device is to help re-establish normal vacuum pressures by removing air or fluid in a closed one-way fashion. For pneumothorax, the chest tube is typically placed anteriorly near the lung's apex. For a hemothorax or pleural effusion, the chest tube is placed more laterally in the lower part of the chest to facilitate more efficient fluid drainage. Frequently, two catheters are inserted. The need for chest drainage is also required following open heart surgery or chest trauma to evacuate any pooling blood, which if left in the mediastinal cavity, can cause cardiac distress or tamponade. As you can see, chest drainage is indeed a life-saving procedure and one of the most important services a physician and nurse clinician can render. It's our hope that review of this educational video has helped enhance your working knowledge of chest drainage and further familiarized you with Atrium's traditional water seal operating system. By working hand-in-hand -hand with leading-edge nurse professionals such as yourself, Atrium will continue its quest to improve patient care with superior quality chest drainage products and professional clinical education for all of your chest drainage needs. If a question or need arises for customer service, product information, or to request in-service educational materials, we invite you to email us, call, or fax Atrium's hotline at any time, or visit our website at www.atriummed.com. From all of us at Atrium, thank you for letting us provide you with this important educational service.